The card plays by Paul Cezanne in the collection of the Musée d'Orsay represents the culmination of several years spent honing the simple into the profound. In the early 1890s, Cezanne completed five paintings of French peasants playing cards in a bar. The first with five figures, the second with four, before completing three further renderings with just two players caught in tranquil contemplation. This version is believed to be the last of the five. It is the smallest of the series, yet arguably it is the most monumental. It measures 47.5 centimeters by 57 centimeters and was painted circa 1894 to 95, around the time that the artist left Paris for the south of France. I've landed up here in the Midi, he wrote to Monet, to embark on the chimerical pursuit of art. One inspiration for his series was a 17th century painting of card players by the three Lenard brothers. The subject was a common one in 17th century French and Flemish genre painting. Although the scenes were often rowdy and boisterous, the antithesis of Cézanne's quiet composition. Cézanne painted and sketched many variations on his players. His models were the workmen at his father's Provençal estate. The pipe smoker was its gardener, Père Alexandre, who pocketed five francs per sitting. There are subtle differences in the peasants. The man on the left wears a top hat and enjoys his tobacco, while his opponent is slightly rumpled in demeanor. This is a disconnect between the pair. Cézanne, who once remarked that there was safety in solitude, here paints two figures alone together. This version of the card players is notable for its light application of paint, its harmonized autumnal palette, and the mirror effect of its focused, symmetrical composition, with the two players separated by a central axis that is created by the corked bottle of wine. It is a triumph of simplicity. The painting has had mixed fortunes, however. It passed through the hands of celebrated art dealers Ambrose Vollard and Paul Durand Ruel, but in 1961, it was one of eight Cézannes stolen in the midnight heist at the Pavillon Vendôme Museum in Aix. The following spring, a ransom was paid and the painting was recovered from an abandoned car, the same year it featured on a French postal stamp. The meaning of Cézanne's card game has long been debated by art historians. It might be a reference to the competitive nature between the artist and his father, or perhaps a riposte to the notion of the savage peasant, as propagated by the artist's friend, the novelist Emile Zola. Cézanne's country folk are dignified. But whether Cézanne had in mind a battle of wills, a social statement, or simply the beauty of stillness, the card player's remains a touching portrayal of people calmly considering the hand they've been dealt with.